get to see family in San Diego and have Thanksgiving with them, so yeah. I'm really excited. I am super excited about that, too. This time on Selling Tashian. <laughs> We say goodbye to our paradise on Catalina and head to San Diego for some time with family. left Catalina. We left our morning at Catalina. It was really, really beautiful. Uh, we spent a great, glorious five days there, just uh, enjoying little trips to the island to go get ice cream and lunch and uh, walk, walk. We walked and hiked and there's so many great things to do here. And um, I guess there is a whole group of people who walk the Trans-Catalina Trail on a regular basis. And so this is quite the hike, and this is, I guess, the time of year to do it, because there were a ton of hikers here. Um, just camp out along the side of the trail, and it's a beautiful view. So anyway, I highly recommend this uh, mooring anchorage. Um, you could anchor here. There are a couple of places to anchor. You do uh, two anchors, forward and stern. But uh, it, even when the winds came up, it was so mellow and calm. It was just beautiful. And uh, the sun is about to go down here in a little while, a couple hours, and uh, we'll be on another night passage to San Diego. So how are you feeling right now? Going to another <laughs> spot. I'm, I always look forward to moving and getting somewhere else, getting somewhere else. So. Get to see family in San Diego and have Thanksgiving with them, so yeah, I'm really excited. I am super excited about that too. Super, super excited. This is kind of going to be a boring, maybe, passage because there's no wind and it's no wind at our nose. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, but sure is pretty out there though. Yeah, we'll get there slowly. This is just about the, one of the nicest sea states. Um, it's very comfortable. Hal is down doing some looking around just to make sure everything's working right and uh, that we've got things still under control. And uh, it's just pretty mellow. We've got some music going. The sun is going down beautifully and uh, I'm enjoying this so far. It's, Catalina is really cool. It's this whole rugged island where it's almost like desert. It's, it's definitely a unique landscape, but it's it's pretty cool. But the other side is a little bit more, you know, they've made Avalon into a really great tourist area where it's a, look, there's beaches, sandy beaches and stuff, but I enjoyed this. I enjoyed the um, back end of the, uh, the island. It, um, it was definitely a little bit more natural, um, less touristy, very mellow. If you want a nice, quiet place, that would be the place to go. For the Avalon's the big one, then Two Harbors is the second one, uh, the Isthmus side, and the Cat Harbor. We were in Cat Harbor, and that was the side that was really mellow and calm. Um, we walked over to the other side. You can walk, it's like a, five, ten minute walk just to get to the other side where the restaurant and the little resort and the grocery store is and all of that stuff. Um, so, uh, it, was, it was very lovely. Anyway, enough of me. I talk too much. Another beautiful sunset marks the end of our time in Catalina and the beginning of a night at sea.
much this whole line here represents about two hours of the speed we're going. Each of these lines is two and a half miles and we're going about five an hour. So this is five, 10. So that, that's, uh, that's my shift. Super exciting. This is my favorite part of the passage is getting to watch the sun come up and seeing where you are in a new place after the up and down sleepy, sort of sleepy, not sleepy night. Uh, we both had a good night. Um, I slept my sleep time, he slept his sleep time. It's about six o'clock in the morning. We've got a couple more hours, but the sunrise is always so nice to see. It just feels like we made it. <laughs> so uh, here we are, uh, just a few hours from San Diego, and the sun is coming out, and uh, we're sort of bleary-eyed, but awake, and hopefully by the time we get there, we will be fully awake and ready to pull into the dock for for a holiday. I'm looking forward to seeing family. There we go, little dolphins out there playing. long we were passing by Point Loma and headed into San Diego Bay. After about a mile of slaloming through a minefield of crab traps, we made it into the bay. Poor fun thing just happened. Um, we had made this reservation several days ago when we were in Catalina to come to the San Diego police docks. Um, and we paid for it, everything, confirmed it, called, um, and we knew we were gonna be a little bit early. So we called to find out if we could check in early and they kinda said, yeah, if nobody's in the slip, go ahead and check in early. So we were like, okay, we'll go by and we'll swing by and we'll see. And then they called us and then they sent us an email and said, hey, call the guy to find out if he's gonna be there, leave, be gone before 11 o'clock. And I was like, oh, okay. So then we get into, we're like, okay, well, checkout time is 11 o'clock anyway. So we'll just take a little bit of time, slow down. We pull into the marina about 11.15, 11.20, something like that. And uh, he's still in the slip. And so I decide, we decide I'm, we're gonna call. So I call the person they gave me the guy's number and said, call him to find out. So I call and uh, some lady answers and says, um, oh, well, we extended our stay. And I went, oh, oh no. So I called the office right away and they were like, what? What's going on, huh, what? And then, <laughs> and then they said, oh no, he's supposed to move. So it's like, okay, well, okay. So they called him and stuff, and then I, Hal was like, well, why don't we just move slips? So we called them back and we're like, can we just move slips? And so now they're like, no, he has to move the slips. <laughs> so now <laughs> we have to wait until he moves, leaves the slip in order to get into the slip. So we're just kind of circling. Because he has to be out of there for sure, but completely out by one o'clock, because that's check-in time for us. It is now 
12 o'clock, so we may be circling this marina for an hour. So, uh, I think we might be maybe eating some lunch or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Super fun time. Super fun. We eventually did make it to our slip and enjoyed a beautiful night in San Diego. The next day, we woke up to sunny skies and to do one last task before my brother-in-law was picking us up for Thanksgiving. The boat is a disaster and we have every towel we own out because we are washing Tashi. All of this yuck is from the mooring in Catalina. That line was so covered in mud and yuck. Can't wait to get it off our boat. We got it everywhere. All up the sides. You could see splotches of mud here and there. It was so gross because we had to walk it back. It was awful. And then all up at the bow here. It is covered in gunk. But we're gonna get it clean. With Tashi all clean, we headed inland for some holiday cheer and good old fashioned hospitality. Oh, this is the sweetest thing ever. I have the best sister in law. And this. She's still sleepy. It's tough to be the princess. Maddie, your eyes are open. We're not sleeping no more? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. Night night. Gussie. Yes, yes. Oh. This is Maddie and Gus. They lived with us in our home in Sutter Creek, California. They were a part of our family for 14 and 9 years. But boat life and older land loving dogs do not mix. We easily gave up the house and the toys, but the hardest thing we did was to say goodbye to Maddie and Gus. But we have been blessed to have Hal's sister Pat and her husband Mark, who have created a mecca for animals at their home and gladly offered to care for them. We were very excited to spend this time with them again. I was concerned that we might upset their new life, but seeing how well adjusted and happy they are set me at ease right away. <laughs> Maddie and Gus are not the only ones to benefit from Pat and Mark's care. Along with the furry friends, they have a flock of exotic birds that have been taken in for various reasons, such as previous owner death, health issues, and even a former research bird. These feathered friends have a paradise that they can thrive in with proper care and affection. And we loved getting to know them all. Hi. Hi. Say hi. 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 That's so cute. Hi. 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 That is so cute. <laughs> You're a show off. Look at that. Hi. 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 Dancing. Not only do they care for the animals and for us with hospitality and a warm environment, we even got help with boat projects. Tashi bites. Tashi, oh, she bit you, huh? I get bit all the time. We have another small leak that we finally chased down. We found where it was coming from and we'll have to have it evaluated by a boatyard but it was nice to have a mechanically minded person like Mark to help us out. We also decided to have a whisker pole installed because of all the downwind sailing we have been doing. So I will just have to say that this is absolutely the best bed and breakfast I've ever been in. 
we have been given the star treatment here. Um, Hal's sister Pat and Mark have been just amazing hosts and we get yummy delicious food every night and uh, good company and it's really nice to be around family and uh, especially family that are like the same speed as us <laughs> which is kind of slow <laughs> but yeah we've just um, really really enjoyed our time here and yeah the, the ambiance is amazing there's a sauna there's a hot tub there's a workout room and then it's like a resort out here in the backyard with the, you can hear you know the the macaws and the cockatoos and She's you can got hear, all kinds of birds yeah and you can hear the the fountain in the background and there's bamboo and trees and the most adorable dogs running around it's it's lovely it's been just a lovely break from the hectic boat life but uh, yeah. so thank you pat and mark we love you guys uh and uh, we won't say we're gonna say until next time that goodbye yeah, yeah so they till they come and visit us at whatever point yeah, we're at come and visit us <laughs> in mexico that's right and bring bella with you yeah. <laughs> bella's a little what is it Cockatoo. She's a cockatoo. cockatoo yeah. mm -hmm. I don't remember what kind she is, but she's the she's the small little cute one. Sweet little thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Join us next time for a boat haul out and some more fun in San Diego. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the few